Hey guys, so if you recently started an Etsy shop or thinking about starting an Etsy shop, you might be looking at your Etsy dashboard wondering what does everything even mean? What are all these e-commerce terms? What's the difference between visits and views? And what does conversion rate even mean? So in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you so you have a better understanding of your business and the ability to analyze your stats more and ultimately be more successful at selling on Etsy. So let's get right into it. All right, welcome back. So for this video, I'm going to use one of my shops as an example so we can reference the different stats here. And also on the right hand side, we're going to be using data and definitions straight from Etsy. The very first thing that I want to explain to you guys is one of the most common questions, which is what's the difference between views and visits? Okay. So views is pretty much the total amount of, of listing views that people get to see from your place visits, which is the number of people who looked at your shop or listings. Okay. What does that mean? So visits is actually the amount of unique visitors coming to your place and the views is the total amount. So meaning one, every one person that visits here might be looking at your listings, maybe a couple times. So if you divide this number by this, you'll know on average, how many listings and one person normally looks at maybe every one visit, I get three listing views. Okay. And I think on average. What I've seen is usually one to five. So this actually might not be the best right here, but maybe something that you can break down and realize why is that? Why is someone only seeing three listings when on average, maybe it's five. So that's why th that's the point of this video is so we can really break down the analytics side of things and know which area of your shop you need to optimize in. Okay. So let's move forward. Orders. That's just a total amount of orders sold in the shop, not the uh, number of items. This order. That's how many orders I have, but that doesn't mean that's exact number of listings that I've sold because a lot of orders, people will purchase multiple items, multiple listings within one order. So maybe I, there's like 1500 total listing sales. Okay. So keep that in mind. That's not the actual listing sales count. Okay. And obviously the revenue here is a total sales of your order minus the shipping and tax costs. Okay. So let's go conversion rate. What you can really do to find conversion rate is divide your orders by visits. Okay. And you times it by hundred to give you the actual percentage, but Etsy actually has made it very easy for you. If you click onto stats here, uh, this is not looking good the last couple of weeks, but, uh, okay. What you can hear shows you exactly what the conversion rate is. And like I said, again, you divide your orders from your visits times it by hundred, they'll give you the percentage rate. And depending on your category, you want to know uh, what's a good conversion rate and on standard, you know, two to 3% is pretty good. We're going to try to boost is higher if we really wanted to, and we should to get this higher, but that's kind of what you want to know. And if you have a low conversion rate, maybe if you're below 1%, you kind of want to try to, to boost that. And how would you, how would you boost that? Maybe having better imagery, having better descriptions, having a FAQ, maybe uh, responding to customers quicker. All these little things will help boost the conversion of someone willing to buy from your shop, right? You want to make sure that everyone that steps into your shop and one that looks into your listings has a good chance of actually purchasing your item. So the higher that chance of someone purchasing from each listing view, the higher the conversion rate you'll get and the higher conversion rate you get at CC's that as well. The shop actually knows what they're doing. They have a great product. People are actually buying every time they show, they look at the store. So they're going to, they're going to boost your ranking. They're going to make you show up on first page even more right? they're going to give you more exposure. So conversion rate is one of the most important things that you want to work on. And constantly trying to, to bring this higher and higher if you can. And if you even make it 0.1 or 0.2%, it actually does make a huge difference. Okay. So you know, if this conversion rate was at 1% compared to this revenue will be slashed in half. So it really does make a difference. Okay. So I don't want to go too hard on that year over year. These are just stats that you can compare from your last year, right? The year over year down here. But if you don't have any comparison from last year, at least you're going to have some crazy percentage up here. Okay. So traffic sources. So this is something that you kind of want to have an idea of, um, how to break these down and which is down here. All right. So maybe I move this, move this up. Okay. So you want to know how many visits Etsy has bring to, brought to you and how much you brought. Cause you want to know how your external marketing efforts are paying off compared to what Etsy, what Etsy has done for you and also Etsy search and marketing, but obviously you put an effort into all of these, right? 
but it's just to show that their platform, how much traffic they're bringing you from you optimizing your titles and tags, and which is something I talk a lot about in my channel. So subscribe and like <laughs> if you haven't already. But yeah, like you want to make sure that you're optimizing these things so that they can promote you properly to the right audience. And uh, let's start right from here, Etsy search. Okay, so this is right here. And this is people searching on Etsy. This doesn't mean anything with Etsy ads or any other like apps or anything. This is strictly from the Etsy platform from the search page. And the Etsy app and other Etsy pages over here, that's what this means. Okay, this is through the app. This is through other other links and stuff like that. Okay. Marketing and SEO. Oh, by the way, I'll I'll include, include a link to this page so you can uh, look at it further if you want, if I'm going a little too fast. But uh, yeah, marketing and SEO. Visits from traffic through the offsite ads. And the offsite ads is something that you don't really have to worry about right now if you're just starting out. It's something that Etsy will start optimizing for you if they, f if they feel like you're someone that they want to help promote through offsite ads. So that's a totally different conversation that I can do another video on maybe. But, uh, but yeah, Etsy ads, this is obviously through if you are toggling the, on the Etsy ads or not. And let's see, yeah, also as we talked about, social media, right? How much you're bringing in from social media. You know, that's obviously something that we can do better. We're kind of in the red here. Decrease 22% from last year. But that's 2021, I think a lot of people or on social media more just because the pandemic was harder around that time. And now people are out during summertime right now. So I think that's the reason why it's kind of down here, but we never know. Okay. Advertising that's direct and other traffic. So now the reason why you want to break these down from furthermore, obviously you can see which is doing well over here or not, but you want another one that you want to make sure is the direct and other traffic. How many people are actually you typing in your URL? Are people talking about your shop? So visits from people who type your shop URL into the browser, bookmark your page, click the link in an email, instant message, blog, news, articles, or any other websites that send traffic to your, to your shop. So this is a great indicator to know, are people talking about your shop? So these are the things that you kind of want to break down to see what's your driving force. If you have a lot of people coming in from yourself, which is perfect, then okay, cool. I'm actually doing doing something right outside of Etsy. Maybe I want to start focusing more on the SEO side of things or vice versa, right? Maybe if I'm getting all traffic from Etsy, maybe I want to try bringing some from externally. Maybe I want to try doing some other marketing efforts externally. Okay. So things that you want to definitely consider when you're looking through your stats. And these are just the basic ones, right? But yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to learn more about selling on Etsy and how to be successful at it. So uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.